this is Madhu Chaudhary and I welcome you all to my channel The Lifestyle Edit. Today I thought to share with you all the benefits of aloe vera for our skin, hair and overall general health. Aloe vera is also called as Grit Kumari in Hindi and all in all you can say that it's a secret ingredient to a healthy life. As such aloe vera needs no introduction. It's almost available in every household. Everybody uses aloe vera for some or the other purpose but today I thought to share with you guys some benefits which you might not be knowing. So let's just begin with it. So for our skin first thing is aloe vera acts as a very good moisturizer. For oily skin I think it works as a miracle but uh, obviously for dry skin it may not suffice your need. So you can generally apply taking the gel out of the aloe vera leaf and apply it on your face it basically increases the water content of your skin to keep it moisturized the second benefit is it helps in reducing the acne and blemishes from your skin as the oil content in aloe vera is very less and it is more of water it helps in reducing the acne on your skin plus if you use it with a few drops of lemon in it it works wonders for your skin. It helps in reducing all the uh, dark spots or blemishes from your skin. The third benefit is it acts as an anti-aging cream for your skin. Actually, as your skin ages, it gets drier and it loses your elasticity. This makes it more susceptible to uh, wrinkles and fine lines. And in this process, aloe vera helps in increasing the moisture level of your skin and definitely uh, uh, reduces the signs of aging. A moisturizing pack made of aloe vera, some essential oil or maybe oatmeal or coffee can make your skin more smoother and softer. And the fourth benefit, if you don't know, aloe vera also helps in reducing sunburns. Aloe vera is widely used as sun protection treatment because it soothes your skin and reduces inflammation. So to prevent it, you can directly use the aloe vera gel on your skin. Uh, aloe vera because of its anti-inflammatory properties reduces the redness in your skin which is caused due to the direct uh, you know contact of your skin with the ultraviolet rays and therefore helps in soothing the skin. So the fifth benefit is it helps in healing the external wounds and insect bites. So again the anti-inflammatory properties of aloe vera helps against the uh, external wounds and uh, uh, insect bites. So it can be definitely used as a treatment for such cases. Uh, also aloe vera can be used as an aftershave gel uh, as it definitely soothes the irritated skin. So the sixth benefit and definitely the most important thing for all the girls out there is aloe vera helps in reducing stretch marks. Yes, I think that's the only natural ingredient that helps in preventing stretch marks. So due to the natural aging process, our uh, skin tends to expand and contract which ultimately tends to reduce the elasticity of our skin and in the processes like uh, uh, heavy weight gain or during the pregnancy definitely the elasticity of our skin gets lost or it reduces uh, drastically so it leaves stretch marks so th basically these marks are nothing but small tears on your skin which actually leads to such marks and uh, it can be uh, reduced with the constant use of uh, aloe vera directly or you can also use some soap which has a high content of aloe vera in it. So these were the six important benefits of aloe vera on our skin. Okay. We'll now go to the benefits for our hair. So the number one thing which I would like to tell here is aloe vera definitely promotes the hair growth. So. Uh, if you use aloe vera directly along with uh, some castor oil and if you apply it on your hair directly it definitely helps in soothing your skin it definitely helps in reducing the flyovers and it definitely helps in uh, growing of your growth of your hair so you can get long black shiny hairs with the help of aloe vera and castor oil it basically helps in reducing the dead cells from your uh, scalp and those helps in hair growth so the next benefit is it helps in reducing uh, dandruff. Dandruff can be caused by a number of ways. An oily scalp, accumulation of dead cells or even sometimes some infections can cause it. So you might have noticed that aloe vera is widely used in many of the commercial shampoos. This is mainly because 
Uh, it basically helps in reducing the dead cells on your scalp, which uh, ultimately clogs your hair, and definitely helps in uh, curing itchy scalp. So the next benefit is aloe vera also helps in balancing the pH level of your scalp. Uh, when the pH balance of your scalp is disrupted, aloe vera helps in sort of uh, you know maintaining that uh, pH level and helps in all your hair problems. pH level of your scalp is uh, generally 5.5 which uh, makes it on the acidic side. A lot of commercial products especially the uh, shampoo that we use contains some surfactants which can ultimately uh, you know disrupt the pH level of your scalp and hair is generally uh, up as opposite to your scalp is alkaline in nature and ultimately this can result in damaged and unruly hair. Uh, aloe vera comes into picture and it helps in balancing the pH level of your scalp to give you a better, smoother and healthier hair. The very obvious benefit of aloe vera for your hair is it conditions your hair. Aloe vera can definitely put best of the uh, best of your uh, hair masks or conditioners to the shape. You can use aloe vera as uh, a moisturizer, as a conditioner just after you shampoo your hair or you can also use it as a leave-in conditioner. You have both the choices. So the logic why aloe vera acts as a very good conditioner is it contains some proteolytic enzymes which helps in removing the dead cells. So it basically helps in uh, a regeneration of cells and which helps in uh, better growth of your hair. The, so the moisture is infused your, on your scalp and in your hair and it leads to a very smooth and shiny hair. And now coming to the health benefits of the aloe vera, it has such amazing benefits. You won't believe but yes, you can directly consume aloe vera on everyday basis. The first and the most important uh, benefit is it helps in reducing inflammation. So uh, it generally happens to us. You know, we have an uh, inflammation problem maybe on the, uh, maybe just above the eyes, uh, below the eyes or in other parts like on your cheeks or other parts of the body. You generally feel the problem of inflammation, regular inflammation. You might be knowing that aloe vera ju juice is available commercially. But definitely if you have a plant, there is no reason why you can't make a fresh aloe vera juice from it. You can take one aloe vera leaf, uh, take out the aloe content out of it, uh, add it in one glass of water, add one spoon of honey and you are good to go. You just have to mix it, maybe you just blend it once and your drink is ready. So one of the causes of uh, inflammation in your skin is oxidative damage which is because of the free radicals that are available in your skin which ultimately cause damage to your cells. And it is a very common knowledge that aloe vera is very good in antioxidants. Everybody of every one of knows this. So basically these antioxidants bind with those free radicals and helps in definitely preventing the damage of your cells. And this leads to a reduced inflammation on your skin. So the next benefit is because aloe vera is mainly the water content, aloe vera is mainly water, it helps in reducing the heartburn and acid reflexes. So aloe vera juice is uh, definitely used as one of the treatments uh, for treating your gastric problems and it is the simplest uh, measure that you can take. Generally the gastric, pr gastric problems, you face symptoms like a uh, heartburn, uh, chest pain in chest and uh, maybe uh, trouble with sw swallowing something so aloe vera helps in uh, reducing such symptoms and this again happens because aloe vera has anti-inflammatory uh, properties which helps in reducing the which helps in uh, soothing the stomach lining and the asphagus now the next and very important benefit of aloe vera is it reduces uh, cholesterol and helps in regulating the blood sugar level. Uh, this is actually not proved uh, scientifically but yes lot of uh, you know people recommend that aloe vera can uh, help in reducing the cholesterol and it re helps in re regulating the blood sugar level and that is why aloe vera juice is uh, recommended to diabetic people. The actual reasons or the properties of aloe vera which actually uh, you know helps in uh, doing such things is not yet true 
but definitely there is no harm in uh, you know taking aloe vera to help prevent such things so the next benefit of aloe vera is it helps in maintaining the oral health aloe vera should definitely be used in all the toothpaste i personally think that because it helps in maintaining the oral hygiene to its highest level uh it is mainly because again the moisturizing content uh, the anti inflammatory properties and antibacterial properties help in uh, you know soothing the gums uh, cleaning your teeth uh, keeping your teeth free of microbes and all those things so once in a while usage of aloe vera as your toothpaste doesn't harm anything and definitely it helps in uh, preventing managing your oral hygiene because you can take some aloe vera add some baking soda and some uh, glycerin to it Uh, and you can also uh, add some eucalyptus oil because that is also very beneficial for your teeth and gums so you can add all these four ingredients and keep it in some uh, you know pump bottle and whenever you want you can just spray it in your mouth so do some do, 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 and you are good to go okay so the next benefit of aloe vera is it helps in building your immunity Aloe vera basically helps in producing some nitric acid and some other, uh, you know, beneficial things into your body, which definitely, which ultimately helps in improving the immune system of your body. So, once uh, taking aloe vera as a, a juice is definitely the most beneficial thing you can do to your uh, to yourself. It is also said that aloe vera also helps in, uh, you know, preventing cancer and hemorrhoids. but because uh, i don't have much of knowledge about it i would not like to uh, uh, comment on it and give you some reasons behind how aloe vera works actually but definitely as i uh, as i am saying throughout this video there is no harm in consuming aloe vera it's very uh, it's totally ayurvedic thing and very natural thing there are no side effects and it is very easy to consume so ultimately having aloe vera daily and making it making it an important part of your lifestyle helps in lot of ways you can get healthy hair healthy skin healthy body and what not all i don't know because these are a few things which i was knowing and i thought i should share with you all it's very easy to get aloe vera you can plant you can always you can always go to some nursery and keep uh, take plants and uh keep it at your home it doesn't take much of your space it doesn't take much of your much care you just have to water it every day and take benefits of aloe vera every day so good luck with that and with this i would like to conclude this video because there is nothing else i want to share uh i hope you guys would have liked it if yes don't forget to hit on that thumbs up button subscribe to my channel right now hit on that red color subscribe button i definitely need more subscriptions this is because i am planning to take youtube as my full time career and for that i want more and more views you guys can help me reach the uh, reach my dreams and what i want to do in my life so keep on uh, watching my channel there are a lot of other videos you can definitely go to the video section and browse all those videos you can definitely like them share them with your family and friends and be a part of my family till then live crazy be beautiful and keep your environment clean bye bye